Ethmoid Bone Introduction The ethmoid bone is exceedingly light and spongy and is cubical in shape. It is situated at the anterior part of the base of the cranium between the two orbits at the roof of the nose. It consists of four parts, a horizontal or cribriform plate, a perpendicular plate, and two lateral masses or labyrinths. Cribriform Plate the cribriform plate is received into the ethmoidal notch of the frontal bone and forms the roof of the nasal cavities. Projecting upward from the midline of this plate is a triangular process, the crista galli, with long and thin posterior border. The short and thick anterior border of the crista galli presents two small projecting alli, which are received into corresponding depressions in the frontal bone and complete the foramen cecum. On either side of the crista galli, the cribriform plate is narrow and deeply grooved. Here, it supports the olfactory bulb and is perforated by foramina for the passage of the olfactory nerves. Perpendicular plate. The perpendicular plate is a polygonal, flattened, and thin lamina, which descends from the undersurface of the cribriform plate and forms a part of the nasal septum. The anterior border articulates with the nasal spine of the frontal bone and the crest of the nasal bones. The upper half of posterior border articulates with the sphenoidal crest and the lower half with the vomer. The inferior border attaches to the septal cartilage of the nose. Labyrinth or Lateral Mass, Part 1 The labyrinth or lateral mass consists of several thin-walled cellular cavities, the ethmoidal cells, that are arranged in three groups, anterior, middle, and posterior. They are interposed between two vertical plates of bone. The lateral surface, or lamina papyracea, is a thin, smooth, and oblong plate, which forms part of the medial wall of the orbit and covers in the middle and posterior ethmoidal cells. In front of the lamina papyracea, the air cells are overlapped and completed by the lacrimal bone and the frontal process of the maxilla. Uncinate process is a curved lamina that projects downward and backward in front of the lamina papyracea. It forms a small part of the medial wall of the maxillary sinus and articulates with the inferior concha. The medial surface of the labyrinth forms part of the lateral wall of the corresponding nasal cavity. Labyrinth or Lateral Mass, Part 2 The middle concha is a projection from the medial surface of ethmoidal labyrinth. The passage beneath the middle concha is known as the middle metus of the nose. The superior concha is also a projection from the medial surface of the ethmoidal labyrinth. This is situated just above the posterior part of the middle concha. The passage beneath the superior concha is known as the superior metus of the nose, which receives openings of the posterior ethmoidal cells. The middle metus presents a rounded elevation, the bulla ethmoidalis, and a curved sulcus, the hiatus semilunaris, located antero-inferior to the bulla. The bulla ethmoidalis is produced by the underlying middle ethmoidal sinuses, which open at upper margin of bulla. Hiatus semilunaris receives openings from several sinuses. The opening of frontal sinus is usually seen in the anterior part of hiatus semilunaris. The opening of the anterior ethmoidal sinus is present behind the opening of frontal sinus. The opening of maxillary sinus is in posterior part of the hiatus semilunaris. Labyrinth or Lateral Mass, Part 3 The upper surfaces are crossed by the anterior and posterior ethmoidal canals and open on the inner wall of the orbit. This surface presents a number of half-broken cells, which, when united with corresponding half-cells on the margins of the ethmoidal notch of the frontal bone, complete the ethmoidal air cells. The posterior surface presents large, irregular cellular cavities, which are overlapped and completed by the sphenoidal concha and orbital process of the palatine. Thank you.